Hey friends, this is Dolony TV for the final time on the final day and the final game of the 2023-2024 season with a cup or bust update for you on the Edmonton Oilers, something we've been going on about since the 23-24 season started following the loss against the Vegas Golden Knights. It was a video titled, Can We Actually Believe Them? And, well, Connor McDavid uttered it in the post-season uh, post, uh, pressers with the media last year against Vegas. Well, it's a cover bust, right? And it takes all the way to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals on June 24th, 2024, for the Oilers to bust. Okay. You know what? I guess we couldn't believe them. But they made us believe as long as you possibly could about something like that. Friends, if you're new to the channel, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button as many folks did over on the live stream this evening simply because we got a fun off-season upcoming. It's uh, something I've wanted to talk about for a little while here. I expect that we'll have a player retirement here over the next few days, I believe. Um, at the same rate, too, I believe we'll be changing the general manager. That is uh, at least the consensus I have with Patrick, the Oilers fanatic, and amongst many other opinions out there in the stratosphere. And third off, there is going to be some movement on the decor. Not that it was predictable before the playoffs, but it's predictable now, thanks to the emergence of one Philip Broberg, who really arrived on the scene in Game 5 against the Dallas Stars. So... For the Oilers, to reiterate, they busted this year. That said, like the Penguins in 08-09, like the Panthers this year, it takes a defeat in the Cup Final to win next year. And well, right, you think about what's great about those teams, Alexander Barkov being compared and yet might be greater than, at the end of his career, Patrice Bergeron when it's all said and done. Well... Let me tell you, it takes talent, but it also takes a lot of other pieces, a lot of other things. And Bobrovsky lost last year in the cup final. You're telling me that Stu Skinner hasn't learned something so precious this year about elimination games that, hey, next year the Oilers can cakewalk this thing pretty good based on that. Not saying Florida cakewalked it, not saying Pittsburgh cakewalked it in 09, but they know what it takes to win and they aren't going to be denied next year. That is at least the hope. That is what I'm resting my hat on here tonight following a 2-1 defeat against the Florida Panthers in Game 7 of the 2024 Stanley Cup Final in the NHL's biggest game as Gary Bettman is often accused of wanting a team from South Florida takes the cup home at the end of the night. Well, what do you do? It just is how it is. That said, friends... Yeah, it is a bust for the Oilers, but something we can be dang proud of because it looked a long time ago, right? A long, long time ago. Like we had already busted way back when. So for us here tonight, for the Oilers, hey, it's game seven of the Stanley Cup final that we bust in. You can't get any closer than that. Yeah, I guess he could have lost in overtime. But really, did anyone in Edmonton want to lose in overtime tonight? Nah, 2-1 with the Florida Panthers figuring it out, making amends for every single mistake they made, games four through six, and finding the effort to win a Stanley Cup the year after losing it. Dang good. The Oilers have lost to the Cup champs in the final, third round, and the second round over the past three years. You telling me that that doesn't mean next year's the time? We'll see what Connor McDavid thinks in the post-game pressers after winning the Conn Smythe Trophy in the season-ending pressers and kind of see what happens next for this Edmonton Oilers group that very well will be mostly intact next season. Friends, I'm Tyson the Stolony TV. I do want to at this time say a huge thank you to everybody back home who's tuned in this season. It hasn't always been easy, friends. There was a time I dressed up in a life-size squirrel suit and talked to you about wanting to trade and fire absolutely everybody in the Oilers organization because it was an absolute embarrassment to be an Oilers fan back early November, mid-November, and it was a joke 
losing to the San Jose Sharks and being in 31st place in the NHL. But here we are at the end of it all, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final, a 2-1 loss against the Florida Panthers, where I can say until next year, my old friend, we won't worry about you. We'll hang you up in the closet, and hopefully we don't need you next year as we get this going towards 24-25, 35th anniversary of the 1990 Stanley Cup win for the Edmonton Oilers. I like my odds, right? Maybe for Nugent Hopkins tonight, unlucky number 13 when it comes down to the uh, years spent in Edmonton since his draft on this, his 13th anniversary of being drafted by the Edmonton Oilers. But as well, as much as I did the squirrel bit for you there, I do want to say to those of you that have spent the whole season watching, it's been a journey and I'm grateful to have you along for the ride, right? I, At the end of the day, I know where I, my career in broadcasting has taken me. I know what I've done, where I've been. But over the past several years, I don't think I am where I am without your support and obviously the fun I've had, the enjoyment I've gotten out of the Oilers. It's absolutely been incredible. And for those of you watching back home, I can only hope you want to do it again with me next year. You want to stick with me over the summer. Let's have a little fun. We'll get a little extrapolated over the summer, right? We'll, we'll do some more uh, not-so-Oilers things over the summer. I think we got a little plan up there for in Cold Lake. I'll get a video out on the boat, and we'll maybe do some fishing like the old times here on the channel. But, yeah, a season in which, to recap, the Oilers declared a cup or bust at the end of last year. Immediately came out of the gate terrible, fired head coach Jay Woodcroft, who, yeah, he had his flaws, but man, I love that guy, right? That is, the Oilers actually developed homegrown talent the proper way, and he was the all-time leader in win percentage or points percentage for the Oilers right up until the day he was fired, and he still got fired. Enter Chris Knobloch, who comes aboard as a relative of unknown and comes out of nowhere lighting the gate up. He was 2-3 and three out of the gate, but then all of a sudden, ho, 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 look out for the Oilers and Chris Nomlock. They still have yet to lose or win less than three games after losing three under Chris, but the defense under Paul Coffey, who also joined the bench, it was an incredible year that falls just short, a goal shy of forcing extra time in the 23-24 NHL season. At the very end... It is the Florida Panthers who win the Stanley Cup. And as one might have said, one last time wearing this guy way back in November, it was looking like bust. Well, buddy, the other's done busted. <laughs>